In this video, we will look at a couple of myths regarding chain maintenance. Uh, first one is uh, chains don't need care. Okay, again, and these are myths. Okay, chains don't need care. That's myth number one. So you never need to look at it because nothing ever goes wrong with chain. Just keep using your uh, motorcycle or whatever you have and uh, chains don't need any kind of care. That's myth number one. And maybe consequently, so nothing ever goes wrong. Yeah, so that's myth number one. Myth number two is uh, all you need to do is lubricate the chain. Just lube the chain, maybe occasionally clean it a little bit here and there when it's uh, got uh, two inches of mud on it. But other than that, they are fine. That's myth number two. Myth number three is uh, uh, all chains need is uh, periodic uh, lubrication and a little bit of cleanup. And other than that, maybe you need to set the tension. So uh, tighten the chain every so often. But other than that, chains never change. There is no uh, chains remain the same. So other than this, chains are always Chains are always the same, chains remain constant, it just needs a little bit of lubing, a little bit of clean, uh, cleaning, and you set the tension here and there uh, on it, but other than that, they do not substantially change, and, uh, and uh, willy-nilly, uh, somehow, magically, one day, uh, they're going to be uh, too long and have to be thrown out. So, uh, we're going to look at uh, these three myths and you will see that uh, the core of all this stuff is uh, hidden in this question we are looking at where does the chain wear and once it's clear it's gonna be obvious why these three myths are uh, myths okay so that's what we're gonna look at first off I'm gonna show you something around this sprocket need a pencil and with the pencil, uh, let's zoom in a little bit, there we go, I'm gonna draw this sprocket around rather fast, and uh, I hope that the image of the uh, pencil lines will be nice and clearly visible, I'm almost there, this sprocket has 15 teeth, and a little bit for the inside just for the just for the dramatic effect there we've got ourselves a sprocket here so that's tooth one two three four I don't know why I'm going counterclockwise but uh, it's going this way now seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen and tooth number fifteen and it's written as 15T or T15, either way, That those are uh, how manufacturers mark uh, these teeth. Now this sprocket was made for a 525 chain, a 525 chain, but uh, it also works for, no it won't, but, hmm, say 525, 520 or 530 chains. Uh, all of these chains start with the number five so that means that they are all five units and since one unit is one eighth these are all five eighths chains and five eighths sprocket so the 5 20 25 and 30 chains they only differ that the sprocket and the chain are skinnier or thicker okay so uh, the thickness of this sprocket is uh, made to fit a 525 chain but from this view, from plan view, 
okay this would be uh, elevation but from there here plan view uh, 525 530 or 520 sprockets are all the same so just from this view okay so what happens is that the uh, these pins on the chain you can see my uh, other video about parts of a chain so on a roller chain you've got these solid pins and these solid pins are seated there that's how the sprocket works and the solid pins fall in place there and then the next one is there and it goes around like so obviously and the position of these pins is important and that's what I want to show you say let me just connect these first two there so that would be one link there and here is another link there and here is another one there and uh, I don't want to draw it all the way around you get the idea now what you need to uh, uh, concentrate on is uh, that as the chain gets longer the distance bit the pin sorry there we go the pin to pin distance uh, is getting longer and again let me just grab a nice strong color there's one pin and there is another pin this pin to pin distance it could be either center line that's how we write center line either center line to center line okay or from this outside point here to this outside point so from outside to outside is the same as center line to center line is the same as this outside to this outside either way it's still five eighths of an inch okay so as this pin to pin distance increases uh, the chain rides up higher on a sprocket and uh, so this would be a new chain here where the pins are seated in the uh, gullets here on the sprocket there and on a chain that's worn because the pin to pin distance is greater I'm just gonna vastly exaggerate this one the pins sit higher like so and the links are like so so the outline of the of this uh, chain link would be somewhere there because the pin to pin distance is longer it's not sitting in the gullet here at the in, in the valley here on the sprocket okay because this distance is longer it just doesn't fit it's like trying to uh, fit a uh, let's say your uh, waist is size I don't know 40 I guess there is some such size size 40 so if you try to put on a size 42 pan a pair of pants it's still staying on you can see that the tooth of the chain of, of the sprocket here is still engaging the link and then the next one is uh, this is gonna be the outline of it but this is the inside the inside link which is uh, which would be this this inside so then on the outside the next piece goes here and okay now that's ugly here so we'll fix it quick just like so okay and it's riding some distance up in the air okay and uh, it's like putting a size 42 pants on when you are size 40 and in an extreme case and I'm gonna exaggerate vastly again that's where the pin is that's where the next pin is here is the link okay uh, you can see that it's uh, it's uh, barely catching the teeth here is the next one Is the pin for it you can see that the top of the tooth is just barely engaging this chain okay so when chains wear the sprockets also kind of somewhat wear with them 
but they basically don't fit the sprocket and uh, that's why that's why uh, nothing ever goes wrong let me just zoom out a little bit in this myth page nothing ever goes wrong incorrect uh, in this situation here where the chain is riding on higher and higher on the teeth is uh, wearing the teeth and eventually the teeth gonna look like this they look bent like that they are gonna appear like this they are gonna appear curved okay these look these teeth look curved like curving this way and this tooth looks curved this way okay because the chain it was rotating this way and it was pulling the chain this way and so the this part of the tooth wears out more than this part of the tooth here okay that's what happens to these sprockets and this part of the tooth wears way more than this one this one is still factory original shape basically okay back to the myth uh, oh just one more sec so uh, in this extreme case uh, where the chain is so much longer than I that it just the top of the tooth is engaging here it's like putting on a size 46 pants on a size 40 hip or waist or whatever those sizes actually mean and uh, so it's just barely catching on your uh, on your hips and uh, and they just basically slip off you uh, that's what happens in a bad scenario with these chains and uh, so that's how extreme wear looks on the sprocket it's uh, it's not only the chains that wear they also dish out the teeth unevenly particularly on the engine sprocket not not so much on the wheel sprocket you don't see the uh, you don't see it on the wheel sprocket that much but is also worn that's why you don't mix worn chains with new sprockets or new sprockets or new chains with worn sprockets or so uh, you change sprockets and chains together okay because they wear together uh, back to the myth page just zoom out a little bit so change don't need care incorrect nothing ever goes wrong incorrect uh, this kind of dishing and wear is happening all you need to do is lubrication and clean up these changes don't get fixed with any kind of lubrication as soon as the chain link is getting longer no amount of lubrication is ever gonna fix or compensate for it the chain is gonna run noisier and uh, it just as soon as you start start adjusting it on the chain tensioning mechanism I got a chain tensioning video uh, on uh, on this one uh, as soon as you start uh, adjusting the uh, tensioning the chain inside the swing arms it's uh, it is uh, it is fitting the sprocket to a lesser and lesser degree okay so all you need to do is lubricate yeah incorrect like I said as soon as the chain starts stretching it's uh, it's uh, too big and the last one uh, if you keep uh, lubing and cleaning the chain and adjusting the uh, tightness of the chain uh, the chain remains the same yeah like I said incorrect so uh, you need to uh, take care of your chains but uh, but again taking care of it and lubricating doesn't stop the uh, degenerative changes that take place with the chain